Soul Tribe, welcome to your Top Soil Tuesday. I hope you're doing well, and I hope that this reading finds you safe. So, we're here. This is December 19th, 2023. We're going to be covering all Earth signs. We're going to start off with Capricorn, followed by Taurus, and then Virgo. I thought it was going to go another way. All right. So, I guess that's how we gonna do it but Capricorn I think I might do your season reading before I uh, take this break because I don't want you guys your you not to receive a season reading so just look out for that this weekend I think I'll probably hop on and do a season reading for y'all this weekend I can't tell you what time but I'm finna show my Capricorn some love for sure so you gonna be first tonight just just because it's getting close it's getting closer and closer all right let's see what's going on with your archangel animal oracle cards what's going on with capricorn let's get the archangel animal oracle cards for capricorn So you got gray squirrel, find new ways of solving problems. So I don't know what is going on particularly right now, Capricorn, but for some reason there is a need for you to figure out a different way about resolving something because I feel like whatever way you've been trying to do it is not working. Or whatever way you're trying to maybe come across is not come you're not coming across that way or whatever way somebody's trying to come across to you is not coming across to you that way there's some type of um, in, interruption with maybe even communication we got the camel B forbearance and patience yeah so it's gonna require you to be somebody who really takes the time to like really analyze and look at stuff I, I need some more board there we go okay so I feel like you you're gonna be taking more initiative or more, taking more time to really you know what I'm saying learn whatever this skill is somebody's gonna be able to help others in the in the future with something well live as a fully conscious being yeah so right now capricorn you're being called called to be your higher self what some people call fully conscious so this this requires a different level of movement you know what i'm saying different type of movements yeah we got the king of uh, the king fisher which is be patient and focus see here go that word patience again so something about your patience is really being called out right now capricorn here is you're being required to be patient right now because there's some about focusing some about focusing and some about forbearing so that's like taking on even when it gets heavy and tough and hard but i, I feel like you got that though all right, let's see what the news of the Nubian. Let's see what the news of the Nubian. For Capricorn, let's get the cards for Capricorn. doing good you've been stabilizing yourself you're self-reliant very independent that's the energy that i'm getting off of this look at this judgment yeah so you're making final calls you're standing your ground you you standing on business you making you know what i'm saying actions happen like the things that you're saying is going and it's causing some type of uproar with this five of swords 
So this is the issues and problems that you're having to deal with because it did say something about you having figuring out how to how to solve them, solve problems in a different way because I feel like in the past you might have been letting a lot of things go or letting a lot of people get away with a lot of stuff and I feel like with this judgment card coming out and the nine of this you made a decision that you're gonna be independent on it and you possibly could have cut out a lot of people and these people could have been using your energy or doing something to gain something from you and now they no longer have access to you they have their their lifestyle is changing so they're mad yeah hierophant this is official though like whoever i'm talking to you're a official person i feel like you're somebody that actually adds on to so it's like you're an, an, a nece necessary character in the game or you're necessary you're needed people need you hierophant you're the high priest you somebody um that is revered honored or whatever you want to put it as but i feel like something has been trying to like cause a, a lot of issues because they have no access to you yeah you're official ace of this i could keep on going like somebody somebody is like they trying to they're trying to get mad at you because you decided to pull all your energy back and keep it for yourself or something and somebody just building on that yeah six of this the princess of cups the two of this the four of this the tower the Eight of Swords and the Empress. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go, Capricorn. Because I feel like somebody been needing to be in this energy for a while. And they finally have got themselves to this. This is really good. It doesn't matter, you know, who I'm talking to. I just feel like congratulations to you or you didn't got to the next level. Because it looks like now you're in energy where... There's like a give and receive. You like what 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 am I giving to you? And then also, so I'm looking at what am I giving to you? Plus, I'm looking at what am I um, receiving from you? That's why I feel like you are uh, Capricorn. You're like weighing stuff out. Somebody's doing something like that. They're they're weighing stuff out because it's like if I be around you, I'm giving you my energy. You know what I'm saying? So somebody is realizing like me just gracing your your presence basically is a come up like me just gracing you is a come up so if i just hang out with you and you're not giving me anything or giving me any type of uh energy to make something happen for myself then what's the use somebody's like catching on and people are like oh well let me get like people might be trying to give you a lot of stuff right now or try to like offer you a lot of different things because they want you to feel feel some type of emotion the princess of cups so they like want you to feel something for them or feel even if it's like pity or something it don't even got to be pity it could be like sympathy or something like that somebody somebody is trying to pull on your emotional portion of yourself we got the two of this to keep you like double-minded going back and forth like is this the right thing is this not yeah, but I feel like you still holding back the four of this. You're not, that's what I'm saying. The four of this is right in the middle. So it's like you're not budging when it comes to the things that you already been taking, taking hold of. Somebody's, if it's a relationship, whatever it is, money, whatever this is, somebody is holding on to this. And with the tower coming out, I feel like people didn't expect you to do this or whatever this group was that was benefiting off of you or something they expect you to make the move you made basically and with this eight of swords they're bewildered stuck in their mind and some of them could be going to prison or jail especially if they did something illegal to you all right with the um empress card being right here like i said you're somebody official somebody that's important and somebody that's necessary so it's like they basically just found out <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what happened to them. But let's get the veil of the set. Yeah, judgment showing up again with the four acceptors. You're going to be celebrating happily. You've already, like this situation, if this went to like actual court or if you go into actual court for something, I'd be keep getting this for y'all, Capricorn. But it's some type of official thing that you might be going through. And if it is, you're going to be celebrating. You're going to come out victorious and whatever this is. 
Yeah, this judgment card is very powerful. Okay, let's see. What's going on? The temperance, I was looking for that. <laughs> the temperance that came out. Let's talk about that patience, forbearance. It's like a lot of energy. They want to lash out because maybe you, you're you not even giving people opportunities to like uh, BS you. Like you're you're not taking any mess. Nobody nobody is letting people have a pity party with them. Like you're you're not letting people have a pity party. I can feel it. Yeah, yeah. You're the high, the hierophant again showed up there. Somebody got some something that they're supposed to be doing that's like at a higher level or a higher calling or something like that. So they can't just be. Somebody can't just be. They they ain't no just anybody. Somebody ain't just anybody. Let's put it like that. And not and people be like, no, that's not. Yes, that is a thing. <laughs> that is a thing. Somebody is not just anybody. So we got the King of Cups. Yeah. This is what I'm talking about. You're very emotionally stable. I could be talking to a man. I don't know why I'm getting I'm talking to a man and not a woman. But it, it doesn't matter. You could be a woman too. Just You're just like in this masculine energy. But somebody is very emotionally stable. And your money is good. Yeah, King of Scarabs, you're doing good financially. Also, you're protected. We got Bastet coming out right here. So you got a protection or a guardian or something that's protecting you. And these people want to fight you or somebody want to fight you. The warrior of swords, this energy keeps popping up. This person is frustrated and angry. They want to backstab you or they want to cause some type of harm to you. I feel like I'm talking to an emperor or an empress, however you want to put it. Some Somebody is like... <sighs> You can't be messed with because Bastet is coming out here, so you're protected. You've been protected since birth, since you was a child. If you have any kids, they're protected, as well as your household. I'm going to just put that out there. What's the six of this? Yeah, see, somebody was trying to put a stagnation to you or keep you blocked out of something. They don't want you to continue to hold on. Yeah. Look at this. Four of Scarabs and Eight of Scepters. Somebody was expecting you to like um, be stuck once you got somewhere. I don't know what happened and how this happened, but somebody went somewhere and maybe they got stuck somewhere. I feel like this wasn't you, though. I feel like this was the other energy. Yeah, High Priestess, because your intuition told you not to go. So there was like four people that went to this party or something. And they either got something happened to them. I don't I don't know if it was bad, like real bad, or if it was just they met an encounter. Yeah, these was thieves anyways, or um selfish people, greedy people. Your intuition told you not to go to them or not to deal with them or something like that. They were trying to offer you something or they wanted you to come out with them or something, bro. I can just see the scene. What's the princess of cups? Yep. You protected yourself from them? Yeah, you went hermit on them. Dang. Yep, you knew that they was trying to fight you, so you had to protect yourself. Look at this. The seven of scepters and the hermit. Yeah, you had to protect yourself because you knew somebody was trying to cause some type of, um, like, affliction to you or something like that. It was multiple people, though. They was all coming out at you at one time. So you could feel it energetically because I did see the high priestess. So somebody, somebody, listen, you official, right? This is what people don't get. When you official, it doesn't matter what it looks like to anybody else. It's the fact that you official and you're going to be that regardless. It runs through your veins. So I feel like what's happening is your intuition is giving you the answer before anybody can give you any type of facts or, or anything like that. Somebody has some type of deep wisdom, the hermit card. You're somebody that's very wise. People could even see you as ancient or you've been here before, something like that. But I feel like <laughs> you seen this coming, you seen this ambush coming. Yeah, the will of fortune. It was destined and fated to happen like this. It could be placements in your chart too that makes it more, you have more you know, gifts and abilities and all different types of stuff from your chart. 
Yeah, look, the devil. This energy has been following you for a long time. I feel like it, every time you come back or every time you reincarnate, this follows you. Yeah, the fool. And it's like this energy knows that it can't be, it can't defeat you, but it still does it. Like it still, it still tries. Wow. What's this two of this? <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. I can't make it up. Five of scepters. Look at this. But you're protected. We got this prince, of, I mean, this queen of scepters and best. So that's the guardian, y'all. Yeah. The guardians protect you. Like, you got best that showing up again. Like, don't forget about me. <laughs> and then we got best. Like, mm. yeah. I don't know. This is some something someone wants you to think about in your mind so that it can manifest because they're not powerful to make it happen themselves. Like somebody could talk all the mess they want. In reality, they not trying to come for you because they already know what it's about to look like. Yeah, see, something is like some something trying to make you stagnate in your mind as well. Something to like keep you still or not move forward to the next level or something. So be careful. Of like my manipulation or my magic because I feel like somebody trying to I could just feel the energy uh some about you continuing to hold back is helping you it's helping you build more um juice or build up more um it's like you're building up more stamina or something like that what's this for this Yeah, the full card showing up again, warrior sword. Somebody's gonna feel foolish for sure. Cause it, it's not, it's like working hard and not getting nothing. You know what I'm saying? That's what I feel. Like I feel like whatever this energy is, they're gonna work so hard and they're not finna get nothing. Cause you're still focusing on energies that are like minded. Somebody is like, I need to give and receive. Didn't I just say that? Somebody's like, I need a balance of um, give and receive, or I need to know. What I'm giving you, I'm getting back, or something like that. I was getting that in the beginning. Yeah, you. somebody will, they basically don't want to be bothered, or somebody has just put this situation to rest. Like, they're they're done with it. Yeah. So this was a lesson. This was a lesson for everybody. This was something that, you know, life was like, so you're going to sit back and learn. <laughs> Basically, you all sit back and freaking learn because somebody was foolish when they took this action. They didn't expect something to end the way it did or however this went. This is Tower. Yeah. Now they're fighting with whoever they riled up. Because, see, this is a thing. When you slander people and you um, do all this extra stuff, these same people going to come for you when they find out that it was not true. <laughs> so it's like, well, whoever this was, bad idea, or whoever this group of people was, bad idea, because now even the bigger group is like, it's, it's just real messy. Yeah, it's like something is still being protected. Something that still has not been touched. Something is not being hindered. Somebody has come to some type of enlightenment. Their intuition is just, I mean, you know somebody that's trying to breadcrumb you or trying to gaslight you. You know that. Yeah. Sorceress, you're too powerful. You see, y'all see all these majors coming out? These purples? Like, you royalty. Somebody, it's like they don't get it or something like that. It's very strange. Hmm. Really? Okay. So what's the tower? Wow, Congre congratulations. That's what I was saying. Like, somebody is about to be happy. The Ten of Onks. Listen, Capricorn, I feel like it's time for you to have a happy family, a happy life, unconditional love surrounding you, true love that is surrounding you, love everywhere. Because somebody truly is that energy, so they deserve it. Yeah, this other energy keeps kind of project. That's that's the word that I was going to say earlier. It's like they're trying to send this energy 
to try to scare you because they're tormented. Somebody is tormented by the, their truths or something like that. The truth torments this person. That's what it is. Yeah, this emperor energy. That's what I'm talking about. I knew I was talking to an emperor empress. Yeah. So this could even be both of them. This could be the emperor empress that I'm talking about. But I feel like somebody was dealing with a situation that was just tormenting them. They had to make a final call. This could have even been a family. Like maybe somebody was being tormented by their family. And they had to make a final call about something. And this was unexpected. Like they didn't see this coming. They could have somebody got could have got locked up or something happened in some type of family dynamic. Somebody got put up somewhere. Is what it looked like. What's this Eight of Swords? Yeah, it could have even been over like um, these people could have got caught fighting or something like that. This could have actually really happened. Wow. Ah, I don't know, y'all, yeah, but it looked like whatever happened, this caused some people to get hung up. Yeah, it's coming back. It's coming back. Yeah, you already knew, though. You knew, because the way this energy was giving you, yeah, the truth. I knew it. Ace of Swords. Yeah, it's, it's, it was like... They trapped themselves up when they thought this plan out or they tried to work together because it was, it could have been a group, like three people working together and then they all decided they just going to slander somebody or do something that was not true but because they felt like they had multiple people that could get away with it and they got caught because the truth still stands. The Ace of Swords, Haru, like you, you still, yeah, the world card, it ended. This whole, the when the truth came out, the cycle ended completely. I don't know. It was like somebody needs to be re shown something or whatever. Was this empress? Somebody was questioning. They was questioning uh, something that they knew the answer to. Like they just kept on trying to. Somebody kept on trying to act like it was something else. Like maybe this person was in denial. Then they had to be. Somebody, uh, they was going through it, man. Okay, anyway. So we got the four unks. Yeah, this empress is not interested. This in, this empress is bored of this. Huh. Somebody is not interested. Yeah, somebody's loving themselves. This could be you, Capricorn. You loving yourself. You could be the emperor. I don't know. But somebody's not interested in somebody's love offer. Somebody doesn't want to connect. Yeah, they already made a final call. Whoever this is, somebody made some type of final call. They're not, they're not interested. All right. What's the shamanic medicine for Capricorns? What's the shamanic medicine for Capricorn? What in the world? <laughs> south abundance. Yeah, somebody's heading south because they know that's where their abundance is. They know that's where okay, it's almost like somebody knows where their ten of cups is at or where they need to go to be happy. And that's where they're going. They could be going south. I don't know. Somebody, you know, have family in the south. Or if they want to start a family in the south. Or something like that. Alright. Let's see. What was the other one? So I ain't going to do y'all like that. Okay. So we got cave. Retreat. Yeah. Somebody is. They're gone. <laughs> I feel like somebody is already gone. They went to the cave. They're, they're gone. Something like that expression flute yeah it's just time for somebody to express who they are somebody's expressing themselves in whatever form that looks like yeah creativity this person could be very artistic so they could they could come out in different artistic abilities this person could be talented play the flute or dance or um do artistic work like um uh, visual arts and stuff like that somebody is into that all right.
So, that's what I have for you, Capricorn. I hope that this got to the right Capricorn. Don't forget, y'all, to like, comment, subscribe, share, hit the post notification bell, as well as follow the page. And we're going to move on. What did I say? Taurus? Yeah. At first it was Virgo, and then it went to Taurus when the camera came on. I don't know why that happened. I guess Virgo wanted to go last. <laughs> okay. Let's see what's going on with Taurus. What's the Archangel Animal Oracle cards for Taurus? What's the Archangel Animal Oracle cards for Taurus? What do they mean? What's their Oracle cards? <laughs> oh, snap. singing that song <laughs> okay always something there to remind me we got hedgehog be a magnet of light love and joy this is beautiful man this is beautiful so what it's looking like is you're attracting a lot of um love a lot of Feelings of joy, light. So you probably the one, listen, this, I love it. I love this energy. So when people come around you, they, they see that you're smiling. They see that you're happy. They see, that, they see that you're enjoying life. And by you doing that, you're attracting more of it. And also people that are like that. That's dope. Okay. And then we got gray squirrel. Find new ways of solving problems. See, so what's going on, Earth Signs? Y'all solving problems right now? Hmm. So you're figuring out a way to solve issues on the lighter uh, side, or somebody's learning how to be joyful. And I mean, this is giving very much like you, you're uh, like embodying the energy of like what. Um, you know, happiness and stuff like that looks like to some people. Yeah, see, y'all don't happen to be forbearing too. Okay, impatient. So it might be like a lot of things around you that's not the same as you or why am I getting you're in some place that's like you're the only of your kind for miles. Like you, y'all don't, okay. When y'all think about energy and like the way that people are, everybody is not the same. So your tribe is going to attract to you. So it's like, if, if you're around a lot of people that's not of your tribe, you're not gonna attract to each other on the, on the same level. But once you meet somebody that's in your tribe, you're gonna attract each other, like joyous, smiley, happy, same type of frequency. I mean, you can have all that and still have a different type of frequency. But once it's the same, it, it comes together. So I feel like somebody is being called to be their higher self so that you can attract your, your soul tribe from that frequency. Because you have soul tribe in different frequencies too. That's why relationships, when they end, it's nothing against that. You wish it well, but you just move along. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing like somebody is going through some type of, uh, it's like a lot of different things that you're realizing. You're like, it doesn't even matter. Like <laughs> now I'm getting that song, uh, Lauryn Hill, nothing even, what is it? What is it called? What's the name of the song? I don't know what the name of the song is, but that, that song when she says nothing even matters. That's what I'm, that's what I'm getting. I don't even know what the name of the song is. Uh, I can't think of it. Okay. Let's see, what's the news for the Nubian of the news? What's going on? What's the news of the Nubian for Taurus? Yeah, look, somebody is like, bro, <laughs> you're realizing like your imagination can either help you to become resilient 
and strong or it can make you into somebody who's a victim and always feeling like others are coming after you or you're you know what i'm saying the person that's the underdog every time you know it just depends i feel like somebody's seeing like okay so the mind is really what's what's making me be what they uh you know vibration that i'm on something like that somebody's ready to take action towards something and maybe a new beginning a new start something that you have passion for go do it because i feel like that's gonna lighten your load when it comes to like um if your mind is wandering or you're you feel like you're not direct or you don't have a direction go do something that's new that you have a passion for yeah and you're going to actually have a victory the six of wands so through all this battle or whatever you want to call it that sometimes happens in life where it feel like you're getting beat up or life is life is doing doing you in you know what i'm saying that's kind of like how it feels sometimes but that doesn't necessarily mean like that's what's happening but in our perspective at the moment that's what the heck it feels like so ain't nobody taking that away from you because i shoot i know exactly what you know everybody knows what it is most most people at you know a certain age you've experienced enough to know how things feel even if it's a different scenario right but i feel like whatever this is that you're going through you're going to have this victory in the end of it yeah it could have been something you prayed for or something that was already um prophesied to happen or this the, you could have just been walking into like a destined path somebody could have been just doing it's like you going through the lesson so that you can see on the other end or something there's a wish that's coming though yeah you already manifested this the magician <laughs> <laughs> somebody is very powerful i feel like you're gonna know more about yourself when you're done you're gonna feel more like a master that's what mastery is if you think about it because it's about self it's not about you trying to master another person or another thing or anything outside of you you just trying to master you you see what i'm saying so somebody is learning another yeah the will wow this is beautiful maybe you even checking out your birth chart or you maybe you don't know about birth charts and you you know just getting started and you're realizing things it, it could be any type of way or you could be somebody who already been working on your birth chart and you like i'm learning this and i'm mastering this because i'm seeing okay this is my weaknesses these are my strengths i need to work on this somebody is literally taking the time to learn themselves they're mastering themselves that's what i'm seeing and it's gonna take the rest of your life to you know what i'm saying because that's the whole thing this whole thing is a a class regardless how long you were here but i feel like somebody is still taking the, their soul to the next level in some type of way but again nothing even matters right <laughs> okay let's see yeah strength look at this wow the nine of swords you've been through the most yeah the four of this the two of this wow the six of this the princess of this and the princess of wands wow all right so okay y'all why is my freaking eye itching somebody eye itching bro <laughs> all right that's funny listen so we got the strength card and with this strength card i'm seeing this is that resilience that i was talking about and like you being able to push through even when odds was against you maybe you were put into a victim situation or you were put into a, a situation where it was not fair or just to you in some type of way but i feel like because you're so resilient you're able to conquer this this could even be maybe somebody feels like they deal with some type of like uh sleepless nights or have nightmares and stuff like that i feel like some of this stuff it wasn't always your mind but because you were in that state you might have been an easier target for that because i know like there are certain parts that you go through in life where sometimes especially if you're going through like a grieving state or you going through a, something in your life that's uncontrollable it 
it, it still can mess with you and affect your psyche, your mind. So I feel like somebody could have also been projecting or a group of people or well, however this goes. It could have been just people wanting you to feel this way. That's, that's projection. Wanting someone to suffer, wanting something bad to happen to someone. So maybe you feel like you got to hold on to your, your, uh, what you have, what's closest to you, the four of this. You might be saving money. You might be looking at it like, okay, if I have to, you know, deal with this any much longer, I might, maybe somebody's running low on funds or they're not making as much as they were or something like that. Something has changed. Yeah, two of this. Maybe you got two jobs or you're doing two different things to try to keep things balanced out. And we got the six of this because you want to come in contact with people or things, places or things that are willing to give and receive with you. Because right now with this princess of this, it's like you always come across people who are codependent or they want something more than what they want to give. Like that. They want to hang on to you for their benefit, but they don't want to be a benefit to you. Yeah, and somebody's like, I'd rather just be out here free, the prince, um, princess of wands, rather just be out here free and risk it. Somebody like, I'll risk it, because whatever it is that you're passionate about, that, it could be a risk. It could be something somebody else feel like is not a good idea, or, you know, it's always like that most of the time, like, Especially if they're not aligned with you or they're not supposed to go with you on that level. They're going to say, that's not a good idea. But it really is because they can't see it because they're not on that level. You know what I'm saying? So you got to see it like that. Like, okay, well, it doesn't mean that you're a bad person. You just can't see my vision. All right. So let's get the veil of ascent to clarify this for Taurus. Yeah, somebody might be, before you get to where you're about to be as you might have to do a lot of things alone, and that's normal. So don't feel bad when you have these moments of isolation. It's normal. You need to go into the darkness to grow like a seed. Think about a seed. Can't be in the light all the time. It would never fully, you know, get to its potential. It needs to be nurtured and all that stuff, so... When you go into those times of isolation, it's because you need to nurture yourself. Okay. Yeah, somebody might be having to disconnect emotionally too. So it's like you, you can't feel what other people feel. Somebody might be very um, empathic. And I feel you because being an empath, you know, it's, it, it, it can, well, people say blessed and cursed and stuff like that. It's kind of, kind of like that. I wouldn't say it that harsh, but you feel things that you don't have to feel because it's not your issue. You know what I'm saying? But because you might have that, um, that ability or you are open or sensitive. Some people call it sensitive. It, you feel people, you feel bad for them, but it, it, right now is not the time to feel bad for nobody. <laughs> okay, that's what it looks like with this Eight of Cups. Is, or Y'all can see it as Eight of Cups, Eight of Unks, the Unks are the Cups. Regardless, it's like, yeah, you, you really got to think logically about something. Somebody, somebody has to really think logically about things. The, the Queen of Swords. You can't be taken for a fool or you can't be misuse and abuse for something the ten of unks that's how you're going to obtain your happiness that's how you're going to obtain the unconditional love and get yourself out of this torment it could even be these people maybe that's a part of a family or a situation they've been projecting on you or making you feel like you can't accomplish something or you got more people that's around you that are against what it is that you want than what it is that uh that are for you so that means you gotta go up higher like elevate because there's other people up that are higher that can actually help you you know what i'm saying but if you stay in that energy it's just gonna pull you down basically what's this nine of uh swords why am i saying what was that that y'all was just showing me i'm rubbing my eyes and i'm getting these visions 
That's why my eye did that. That's crazy. Um, wow. It's like when there's pressure being built up or something like that. Or like a clogged, clogged up uh, pipes and stuff like that. There's something that needs to be released. Maybe somebody's dealing with, uh, you could be feeling like you got some, uh, your heart pout, uh, beating fast or like your blood. Something about that. Okay, what's this nine of swords? Wait, we got to do the, um, the strength card. Hold on. What's the strength card? Wow. So Taurus, you showing up in your own reading right here. Wow. The Hierophant. Yeah. So you need to see who you is. You know what I'm saying? The keeper of the records. The official one. You're somebody that's very important. And this is why this is why this was placed on you because you're strong. You're able to deal with this. Yes, you gotta leave something out. Five of scarabs. Yeah, they might they might be suffering or somebody might be left in poverty. Because I feel like there's energies that they can't vibrate higher than that. So what you gonna do? Stay there with them? <laughs> I mean, if that's what you wanna do, but you gonna be constantly pulled on your energy because you're at a high vibration and this is a lower vibration. So the poverty mindset only goes so far and then you deal with a whole bunch of other stuff. People trying to stab you in the back, steal from you, do all types of stuff because they can't see past the level that they're at, bruh. I'm telling you. Yeah, there's something about the temperance right here. So it's talking about balance, harmony, peace. I feel like somebody, this is what you want. You're looking at like I have to you know, temperance out myself. Yeah, you probably gonna wanna take this leap though because I feel like this leap is gonna be in your best interest with the full card being right here. You might even be going somewhere or doing something that you've never done before and somebody is terrified. You terrified, like what the heck, bro? Are you in a whole nother part of the world you've never been in before? You don't know nobody. Do it. <laughs> Do it, because I'm telling you, Somebody is official. You were you were meant to help to lead others. You're helping you going through these experiences is gonna help somebody. What's this nine of swords? Your torment, your torture was not in vain. Because I feel like somebody was really sent through it. And I feel like it's because of your environment or where you came from or something like that. That could be it too. Somebody don't know nothing but that. Yeah, look. The queen of swords, you got to think logically because where you came from was not happy. Yeah. The hermit in reverse. People didn't have wisdom there. The six of unks in reverse. I'm telling you. This was your past. The six of unks is your past. Was not happy. You didn't have a good childhood. Somebody didn't have a good childhood. They didn't feel um, like their emotions mattered. So you could have been somebody who had to grow up hard or people didn't show love to you. You didn't experience love like that. So it's like you had love because you was naturally empathic, but you didn't have it around you. You didn't grow up on love. Somebody somebody is having to go through that or think about this. Yeah. It's like they didn't know no better in a way. Like the people that you were around, you know, they... Y'all got to think too. It depends on what uh, background you're from. There could have been a lot of trauma within your family lineage or your bloodline. So it's like it, you have to consciously make the decision, I'm not going to repeat that. Or it's just going to happen because it's just a natural thing. Something like that. Somebody had to fight uh, something that was like in their family or something. Somebody had to get themselves out of that. Yeah, Ada Unks walked away. You had to. Or this is being suggested. Keep to yourself. What's this for this? Yeah, it's coming up again, Taurus. Wow. Hmm. Yeah. It's saying you really do, and it's preferred for you to keep to yourself. Somebody might want to be an uh, individual. Why am I getting the independent, like, uh, 
it's, it's, if you have a skill or ability or your artist or something like that, stay independent. I don't know why I, I don't know why I got that because it could be something from your past has been trying to catch you into something like a contract or like get you to sign some paperwork to keep you stuck on that level. You know what I'm saying? If if you don't sign that contract, you're still a free agent to go to the next level. Y'all get what I'm saying, right? So something about that, like it could even be like a marriage or something. Somebody might want to keep you stuck or get married to you just so they can bind you to something or make it so you, you're not free to just marry whoever you want to marry or something like that. Or even at the level, like this could be somebody who is, you know, impoverished or they have that mentality. They never think about coming up or being better. And they want to get married to you, so you'll just be always poor with them. Something like that. It's like even maybe somebody gambles a lot or something. The two of this, they they always at a risk. Of, even if they come up, they gonna they could go down or go broke real quick. Like this person, one minute they got money, next minute they broke, don't got nothing. What's this two of this? Yeah, somebody. It's like they want somebody to stay in a in a constant feeling of like being betrayed or hurt because because it's like a breakthrough. Like when you pushing through something and you're trying to break through it, but it's like the last part of it and it's getting close to just breaking almost like a um, a dam that's been jammed up or something like that. That's what I'm seeing like a dam that's been jammed up. The, the dam just released finally something like that. Interesting. Okay, so we got the three of swords. Yeah, somebody. But the thing is, with this uh, I'm pool the death card, it's not gonna happen because you already been through the nine of scepters. Somebody has already been challenged, but somebody still wants you to be challenged, stuck on something because they want you to be in a connection with them or to see eye to eye how can you see eye to eye with something that you're no longer compatible with like somebody wants you to pretend or something i don't get it what's the six of this somebody saying they your soulmate or they you're supposed to see eye to eye or something and it's like not not the case we got um the temperance card so there's peace and harmony the, is what you're looking for. And you don't see that within this situation. But we got the king of scarabs is coming out with the um, best that. Yeah, I don't know. I guess tonight I must be, I don't know why I feel like I'm reading for um, the man or something like that today. But it makes sense though. It's earth energy. But even if you're a female, you still like probably are, more in your masculine side but what i'm feeling is like you just care about peace like you you want to be able to be calm when you're at home you want to be able to enjoy the luxury that you've already built up for yourself the king of scarabs is well off or wealthy some people might say you know whatever you could be really really uh, well off and it doesn't matter but i feel like even if you're not, this is the mentality you have, so you're on your way to that. But there is a protection that's around you. There's a protection around your family, your household as well. If you have children, your children as well. But some, something is like trying to be codependent or stick to you. It's like this, this princess of this energy. They constantly want you to pay for their stuff or like they always calling you and asking for money. This could be somebody you have a child with. Because that's what I'm saying. There's people that's trying to put contracts on you to make it hard for your life in the future. Like, people don't think about all that. Especially if you're trying to survive and you live in somewhere and it's like the survival of the fittest. You're not thinking about that. And then once you get out of that, you're like, wow. <laughs> I got all this extra stuff that's connected to me. Because I feel like somebody might have, I don't know if you have a child outside of what it is that you're trying to build. And it's like, you want to move on, but you still have these responsibilities that's around. 
something like that. Mm. This is symbolic. Something is trying to come off a certain type of way, y'all. But it's like you you're not interested in it. Somebody trying to make something look good or make it feel like, well, you'll always come back home, that type of energy. But you like, this isn't home to me though. Cause you're not connecting with it anymore. Somebody's like, there's a disconnect. What's this princess of this? Yeah. Somebody is really thinking in their mind. And I think you're you're not doing it from a like an egotistical way or nothing like that. Somebody is thinking the evolved version of themselves, what it looks what their future is gonna look like. Something like that. Somebody also wants to experience life because maybe you feel like this situation caused you to miss out on things or you didn't get to experience everything you wanted to experience because you got these passions that you want to explore but you don't feel like you can because you're hindered or something. Somebody like, I got to move on. Yeah. Because my happiness is somewhere else. This is nothing but torture. This person on my back, yeah. Queen of Scepter. Somebody know they got to get some confidence. They know that, yeah, and then the cycle, the world card. Yeah, something's coming to, something's coming to a close or something like that because somebody knows that happiness is elsewhere. What's this Princess of Wands? This is what brings you peace to be able to do what you want to do or ha enjoy your passion, enjoy life, be free. The Princess of Wands is like a teenager almost, you know. But this is also somebody who has a lot of good news coming in as well. So you might be getting a lot of offers. Like somebody wants to be an energy, a younger energy so that they can bring in energies that's on the same level as them or something like that. Because... There is these two is not on the same level. The King of Scarabs and the Princess of This. If like I said, this was a partner, this was somebody who needed you to do everything for them. But he, if it's not, then it could have been somebody you had a child with, and they still need you to do everything with, for them. Something like that. You not with them. Something like that. Ah, okay. There's one thing to do is help, but then to do every single thing. Because <laughs> I feel like that's what it is. Like, this person acts like they can't do nothing for themselves. What's this Princess of Wands? So you like, well, I'm going to be a Princess of Wands. <laughs> ah, that's funny. Okay, let's see. What's this uh, Shamanic Medicine Oracle? Because I, I don't know. These could even be two sisters. One's more masculine than the other one. So it's like sister rivalry or something because one makes more money than the other one. The other one feel like they owed something because that's their twin sister or something. I don't know why I'm getting that. Like twins, they kind of like, I'm getting that. Twin sisters or twin brothers, whatever y'all are. Yeah, somebody's being a trickster. Like, huh, this probably been one of your biggest challenges is dealing with whoever this clown is. And I, I mean, I listen, I don't know y'all. This ain't no personal reading. This is a freaking general. But this is what I'm getting off of this. This is a freak what I'm getting off of this. This is a freaking clown, right? Somebody is being a trickster. Wow. They want you to stay in this this cycle and just be a part of this. <laughs> well, I heard clown show. They want you to be a part of this clown show. The tree people. Sustenance? Yeah. Ancestors. Wow. Somebody has too much wisdom. Even the trees are ancient. You know, the trees are the old, oldest things here. That's why when they get cut down, it's so, it's so sad because it's like, bruh, you cutting down something that's been here longer than you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Where is the where is the respect at? You know what I'm saying? Ancestors. Wow. 
So the ancestors has been looking at this crown. Yeah, basically. That's what it looks like. What's this last card? Rattle, disperse. Get them up out there. They said get them up out of there. They said they got to go. <laughs> they got to go. <laughs> yeah, disperse their snakes. And these are not good snakes that I'm seeing. Because even at the bottom right here, you see the little snake, the cobra. These, not all snakes are bad, but I'm feeling these is not good snakes. These are trick, trickster snakes, so they could be poisonous. Bite you and paralyze you. You will be paralyzed before you go to your next level messing with these mugs. All right. So that's what I have for you. I don't... Uh, who, who is next? Oh... Virgo is next. Okay, that's what I got for you, Taurus. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure y'all share. Hit the post notification bell as well. This is the uh, last reading for uh, Earth signs for this calendar season, y'all. I'm going on hiatus because your girl need to recuperate and I need to get my mind and, and me together. So I'm going to take a break. I can't tell y'all when I'm coming back, to be honest. So make sure that if you want our emergency reading or you want a personal reading, check out my website. It's devshealingcornerstone.com. I'll answer you if you hit me up. But besides that, I'm, I got to preserve my energy. 2023 or 2020. Yeah, 2023 was or is a good, has been a good year. But I'm excited for 2024, y'all. I'm excited for 2024. All right. Let's see. Let's get Virgo energy out here. What's Virgo? Uh, Archangel Animal Oracle cards. What's the Archangel Animal Oracle cards for Virgo? shark lead with powerful lead as a powerful peaceful warrior so people is intimidated by you i think i said this before virgo for some reason and it's not even like a somebody might like like being intimidated and intimidating <laughs> but anyways okay but i'm seeing that you're very actually very peaceful so like on the outside, maybe people are intimidated by you because of your power, but really you're a very peaceful person and you know that it's a battle out here. So you not slacking, you not, you know, you on, on game, you know, what's going on. So there might be people that, you know, sometimes they act like, I feel like some of these energies that be coming around, swimming around you and stuff like that, they be trying to test you because they know they smaller fish than you. They know you a giant, but they still be trying to test you or something like that. We got go act from your innate wisdom. So you already know what to do. You, you get it. Whatever this is that you're supposed to be doing, that's why you're the leader in this situation. Cause even if it's smaller sharks than you, you know where to go. Be relaxed and independent so you're like this mystical being somebody is very mystical people really don't know what you're thinking about too so that's why that intimidates them because they don't know what your next action is because y'all know cats are very uh like you know they're mystical creatures they don't act like at all the other animals that's out here then we got dove yeah that's what i'm saying Spread messages of peace and harmony. So you could be a messenger. That's what it is. That's where that glow comes from. Wow. This is beautiful. You're pure too, because doves represent purity when I see it. Because it's like the white. So you give messages that are pure. You don't you don't try to um manipulate um uh, messages or try to make it the way you want it you just give it how it is and that's what's up touche touche let's see what the news of 
the Nubian. What's the news of the Nubian? For Virgo. priestess i knew it yes my fellow messengers you know, not matter if you a man or a woman but it's your high priestess energy you get messages from from the most high if you want to put it like that or your higher self which could also mean that's why you're you're leading in a certain situation because maybe you're giving messages to those that are going to the, the level that you're at or they're in the same vibration as you so they can comprehend the message. It's like a radio station, you know. If you're in a certain part of the world, when you're on, on that radio station, it'll come in. But if you go somewhere else, that same radio station is not going to work for you. So that's why there's different high priestesses, especially the ones that know this. They're not trying to fight with the other ones because they know. And I feel like... You're in this energy where you're giving out positive messages. People are watching you. People are observing you. They're learning from you. The Prince of Swords. So good job. You you have people doing what's necessary. And I feel like also they're spreading the news as well. So you're getting these messages and it's helping so that others can um, have this news. Yeah, Ten of Cups. Like... Somebody really gives off this abundant flow. Like I'm really feeling whenever people are around you, they feel very happy. They feel like you have a lot of love for the people that you deal with. You could have been somebody who people will say like, oh, well, the, you could tell that they love their job. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> somebody loves their job as the messenger, whatever this is that you do. Yeah, you break, it brings about a lot of peace for you. You might feel like um, it makes you feel like uh, a job well done or like somebody feel like they're in a purpose or something like that too. Sometimes you might feel like you don't want to be disturbed when you're whatever it is that you do. You don't, you don't like being disturbed. <laughs> Somebody don't like that. I feel you. Okay. Yeah, while you working. Yep, Ada Dish. You you don't like that. You like, bruh. If I'm working, leave me alone. Let me do my thing. Yeah. We got the full justice. Prince of Cups. The Queen of Cups. The Five of Cups. Eight of Cups. And the Ace of Dis. Or Ace of Wands. Oh, Ace of this. Interesting. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, I'm going to tell y'all when I get there. But I'm not going to try to scramble up the messages. I'm trying to make it so y'all can get it. But everything ain't going to go for everybody. It's going to be some pieces going to resonate with you. And then some ain't. And that's just how it is. But we got the fool. So... This is like saying, you know, what you gonna do? You gonna are you gonna go for it? Or are you gonna hold back from it? So there must be something that's being offered to you, and it's up to you to, if you gonna take this risk because maybe this might be something that it might not be easy to choose, but it could bring about justice for you because the justice card is right next to it. So if you are looking for balance, or are you looking? For some type of justification, this could be coming in that form. The Prince of Cups. Hmm. So, is this like somebody wanting to be friends with you or something like that? Somebody want might want to be friends or they want to offer up some type of emotion or they want to let you know they, they like you or something. <laughs> Why well, would I get somebody want to let you know they like you? It could be a water sign, a Queen of Cups energy, Virgo. But, I mean, if not, I mean, there's a lot going on in a situation because the Five of Cups is right next to it. So, somebody could be dealing with uh, a loss of 
a friend or a loss of a connection or a loss of a, or somebody's not really focusing on love or somebody's not really focused on being in a relationship or something like that. Because the Eight of Cups, somebody is really trying to get away from the feeling of love or somebody want to get away from the feeling of emotions. Yeah, somebody's more focused on going after their passions, the Ace of Wands. Y'all can see it how you want to. <laughs> Y'all can see it how you want to. But I remember when I said the Ace of Discs, I feel like somebody is going after some type of money opportunity or to be able to get some money in some type of way. But they're going to end up having some type of passion in a connection. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. What's the veil of a set? Did I say this to y'all before? I thought, listen, this must be confirmation if I did, but let's see what's going on. Yeah, somebody wants to like, be like, hey, let's, let's talk about it or let's, let's, um, uh, talk about it over coffee or, um, I, I want to take you on a date or something. <laughs> okay. Let's keep going. What's the veil? of a set for Virgo. Somebody is mysterious though. I feel like the messenger is. <laughs> I feel like, I don't know if, you, if the messenger is the one that's being approached with this or if the messenger is the one that wants to uh, make the, do the approaches. Y'all figure that part out, but somebody is very mysterious and I feel like it's the, the high priestess and somebody wants to know more about this person because, of course, the keeper of secrets ain't telling all the secrets, including theirs. They don't tell others, let alone theirs. So, let's see. Yeah. Bell. Bell of a set. Let's get some clarification. Hmm. Nine of Scepters. <laughs> okay. So somebody is like, I don't know. I don't know with the full card. They're like, should I take this leap? I, I want to because I feel like this is a good idea. But then with this Nine of Scepters, somebody is worried. Somebody worried about something. What is it? Somebody worried about taking on more than they can handle? Sekhmet. Yeah. Maybe somebody doesn't want to hold, they don't, okay, if this is a woman, maybe she doesn't want to be in masculine energy anymore. Somebody don't want to keep fighting or they don't want to be put into a situation where they got to put their guards up and fight and just be uh, raw and stuff like that. This could be a, Virgo, I don't know if this is you or if you're dealing with a fire sign or if you got fire holly aspect. To, yeah, somebody is tired of fighting in love or something. So they just blocking it off. Somebody's not interested in emotions and somebody else is like, well, <laughs> ah, it's just, it's interesting. Okay. Let's see. What's the justice card? Somebody's about to get something justified for themselves. Yeah, because someone stole from you or someone lied to you. A thief, or, a thief of joy is the same thing. A thief of happiness, that's the same thing. Somebody wants some type of justice. Why did this come out with this Princess of Cups? Oh, the Princess of Cups is somebody from a past. So this could be Princess Cups could be somebody from your past and you're getting some type of justice for something that they did? Queen of Swords. What the heck? It could be a Queen of Swords that was a part of this. So this is the third party. Because I did see that in the five, the five of Cups is right there. So uh, there was a third party situation going on between the Princess of Cups, the Queen of Swords, and you maybe, Virgo? And somebody in the past stole from you or was trick tricking you or doing something that was not right. So was it a, a water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius that was doing this? Aquarius, 
it's sticking out a lot, but the water is too. <laughs> but it's like, yeah, somebody's trying to do some type of magic on somebody or use some type of supernatural thing. Yeah, they want to start up a battle or a fight. Some because they somebody wanted to only be in the two of cups, so they wanted to X out another person. It could have been both both people, like the queen wanted to X out the other one or something. Alright. What's this Prince of Cups? Yeah, because the queen might be the one that's like, you want to go out for lunch? Or <laughs> somebody is asking somebody, do you want to go out for lunch or do you want to be friends or something? What's this Princess of Cups? I mean, the princess. What's the Prince of Cups? <laughs> Why do I feel like this man, if this is a woman that's asking him for lunch or something, this man could be like, you going to treat me like a princess? <laughs> You want to treat me like a princess. That's what they mean. They just <laughs> worry about somebody's like, I'm listen, somebody is protecting their heart. They're very cautious about who they deal with when it comes to their emotions. Cause if they was dealing with this person in the past, they like, I remember the past. Somebody remembers, they reminisce about the past and what it was like being in a third party with somebody or somebody yeah, they might block them. Somebody, if they send them a friend request, or they, if this is on the internet, they gonna block them, or are they gonna deny or something to a sort. Somebody is not interested. Yeah, they the, the, they looking the other way. They gonna block them and look the other way. Like it's gotta be something else coming 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 in. Wow, this is just it. Dang. So I guess this is justified for somebody to act like this. Like, I'm good. Turn their back on them. They close their eyes. They don't want to even look in the direction. They like, oh, man. What's this, Queen of Cups? So now the Queen of Cups is confused. Going back and forth. Not knowing which way to go or... Um, what they gonna do? And they mad? So this Queen of Cups is mad? <laughs> wow. This could be a, the air sign. That's what I'm saying. It could be an air sign or it could be a water sign. They're mad because this situation is put to rest. Somebody know what happened to Three of Swords or whatever this was. They just don't want to be a part of it no more. They don't want to be in this. Yeah, somebody ghosting it. They said it's done and they're out of there. Somebody is not even going to... Somebody is not never talking to somebody is what it's looking like. Because this person was left in, in emotional ruins or something. They could have experienced a loss. And then there was like other stuff that was going on on top of it or something. What's this five of cups? Somebody's just in mourning. Yeah, they not even accepting any, they not accepting any energy. The six of scepters, I mean, the eight of scepters in reverse, they not accepting no messages, no nothing. The lovers, they don't want to hear from whoever this lover is. This could even be the person they supposed to be with. Yeah, warrior of honk. Somebody is cold towards their lover, the person they supposed to be with. They don't want to be with them. Because I feel like, uh, I don't know if they got to go through a lesson, because that could be what's going on. They got to learn some lessons apart from each other. But this is an actual, whoever, one of these couples, because there's three, it's a third party situation. But with the Two of Cups being back here, and then the lover's card coming out, this is supposed to be a Two of Cups situation, but somebody had a third party going on. And now they wounded by it or something. Like, they don't want to deal with nobody. Somebody's like, I don't want to deal with nobody or something. They walking away. Eight of Cups. They walking away from a lot of people. Somebody is turning down a lot of people. So, like, Virgo, if this is you, you're just leaving a lot of people. So, somebody shouldn't feel special about you leaving them because you leaving them and everybody else. Or if it's the other way around, Virgo, maybe somebody walking out of your life and you might want to be with them but they don't want to because of some type of third party situation or something like that somebody is trying to go towards somebody somebody is trying to go towards something that brings a lot of passion to them what's this eight of cups 
Yeah. And it's like while you're leaving, somebody feels boggled down or they stuck in their mind. They just constantly keep on going back and forth. They they feel bad about somebody leaving them. They, it's like they want to say something to this person. But this person is only going to use a lot of manipulative words. And somebody's not letting somebody go. It's like the the lesson was learned in this situation or the cycle is ending or something. Because there's something new happening. The ace, ace of Wands. What's this Ace of Wands energy? Yeah. Could be a Leo connected to this for some reason with this uh, strength card showing up again. But yeah, somebody felt like this is a spiritual battle that they was in. Somebody recognized they was in a spiritual battle. And they ready to get up out of it. King of Scarabs, yeah. Somebody is ready to get up out of it so they could take responsibility for them, their life and themselves and things around them. Somebody straight on business now, yeah. Because, I mean, maybe somebody feels like they can still be in a destined connection, but it's not with whoever this was. So it, it could have been like someone's going to the next uh, level or they're going to a, a different dimension this other energy is going to stay behind so they, they're not going to vibrate together this person's just going to vibrate with another compatible person or somebody's willing to wait too or somebody's willing to like hold off until they meet with a, a person that's on the same level as them is what it's looking like because this is coming but they like more, more worried about their money or something coming up their status investments or somebody could be an investor something like that all right this is shamanic medicine for virgo this is shamanic medicine for virgo Somebody's about to be free from whatever this is because I've just seen the birds. So if somebody's about to be free. Yeah, because somebody's surrendering anyway. And then you got hope also. So someone has hope in getting themselves out of a situation. Continue to express yourself. If you do use a form of divination, I feel like right now at this time it's going to give you a lot of guidance. Alright. Your animal totems is another thing. Alright. Okay, retreat, yeah. So Virgo, you going to go into Hermit? <laughs> Somebody might be, or they want to go, go on a retreat, which could just be you going with some people away or you just want to be tucked away from this whole situation yep express yourself so you might be in the need to either you know whatever way it looks like for you when you express yourself writing singing playing music whatever it is but some form of expression, sacred site, purpose. So you might be called to go travel somewhere. So if you is going on a retreat, retreat it must be somewhere somewhere nice. Maybe you're going to a resort or something like that. But this could be a sacred place that you end up at. Or are you going with a group of people that's on a sacred journey? This could be like, um, what do they call those? Where people be having the music and stuff like that. Because I'm seeing that, like, so the sound effects. Like, maybe there's music, a musical retreat or sacred re... I'm trying to get what I'm trying to say out of here. Um, music bowls. Yeah, they have that. Where they play the music bowls and you, you know, enjoy the sounds of the music bowls. Somebody might be doing that. Yeah, this is going to help with your protection as well with the medicine wheel coming out. Wow. So this is heightening up somebody's protection if they do decide to go to this retreat or participate in this. All right. So that's what I got for you, Virgo. I hope that this got too hood needed it. 
Again, y'all, I'm finna go on a break, so this will be the last one for a while. If you want a personal reading or an uh, emergency reading, definitely check out DebsHealingCornerstone.com and book with me, all right, y'all? But I'm finna get up off of here, sending y'all much peace and love. Deuces.